a woman who will be presenting the key to our heroes. Chappaqua, please give Are you here as a friend or press? I am uh, writing a story on Chantal. Lawyer? Oh, what's her angle going to be this time? Do you think she's thrillers. lying about what happened? Kind of. Knock on wood, the future state senator of New York, Mary Ferguson. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Whoa, Mary Ferguson. She's amazing. Wow. Ooh, it's the key. I love Chappaqua. Oh, it's the key. <laughs> I get to meet a lot of people doing what I do. And I get to hear a lot of stories. Stories that move me to tears. There are people out there doing good just for the sake of doing good. They're just trying to do the right thing, whether or not someone is watching. You know, they say, dance like no one is watching. Well, I say, do good like no one is watching. I call people like this closet heroes. And every now and then, we get to wheel them out of hiding and celebrate them. So please welcome our heroes, Elliot Gloss, Portia Davenport, Drew Gardner, and Dory Seif. This is such a big key. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll ever find a door big enough for it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I loved your speech. Oh, thank you. I see a really unusual power in you. Well, um, that means so much to me, especially coming from someone like you. Can I ask, what is your lineage? Um, my, my parents are from Iraq. No kidding. I have almost gone there so many times. <laughs> well, uh, excuse me. Wow, I, I'm so sorry to interrupt, Miss Ferguson, but I have been so inspired by all that you've been able to accomplish, and I just want to know, can I please shake your hand? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, young man. What is your name? My name is Julian Marcus. I'm a friend of Dory's and also a freelance writer. I'm writing a piece on Chantal. Wait, what? I am never washing this hand again. <laughs> that would upset the Department of Health. <laughs> You're funny. I was about to ask your friend if she would consider working for my campaign. We could use a heroic woman on my team. Me? Yes, you. Listen, you two, I don't have the patience for BS right now. I have a goal to increase the diversity on my staff by 30%, and you both seem pretty with it. Am I reading that right? Uh, absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna have Pamela reach out and get the ball rolling. Excuse me, Mary, we oh, need you. I have to go, but it was great meeting you, especially the hero. Such a pleasure to meet you. Uh, Mary, Dory Seif and Julian Marcus are here for you. <laughs> oh! 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 Was that my fault or, or your fault? Yeah. I feel like that was not my fault. What an entrance. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, uh, Dory actually brought you some flowers. <laughs> oh, no, those weren't, um, I, I threw them in the trash. <laughs> you threw flowers in the trash? How strange. Plain. Julian, we need to talk later. Absolutely. Thank you. How can I help you? It's well written. Thank you. But you must see how this doesn't look good for me. One of my staffers is an abuse denier. I didn't intend for this story to be anything bigger than the story. Hey, this is one woman. I, I certainly didn't mean to imply that all women who are in abusive relationships should be questioned. I promise I'm not that guy. I'm a good person with very high moral standards. And sometimes it doesn't make me popular, but it keeps me real. Okay. 
You're on thin ice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Julian. Yeah. I just have one more question. Yeah, what's up? Is it true? <laughs> is, is what true? Is it true? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not following. Is it true what they say? Oh. Um, if you're implying about a certain racial stereotype, then that would be... Inappropriate? Unethical? An abuse of my power? Yeah. Well, maybe it's not that bad out there. Maybe someone else will hire you. Let's see what the internet has to say. Oh, this person isn't as forgiving as I am. He says, I pray to God that this woman hater's balls get trampled on by high heels. Oops. And there's another person here that just keeps retweeting your address over and over again. I don't know. If you care about this job and your reputation, perhaps you should just let go of your hang-ups and answer the question. Is it true? It's true. I know. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can come back later. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm on mute. I just have to stay on the line and say, great job, everybody, every five minutes. No, I'll turn them down. Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, you know that the work that you do really means a lot to me. And I would be very disappointed if I wasn't treated um, seriously. Lovely. I think that's a fantastic sentiment, and I'll always remember it. Well, I, I just want you to know that I, I, I'm very passionate and dedicated. The same goes for me. Mary, I'm, I'm sorry. I really am getting the feeling that you're not hearing me. It sounds to me that you're saying that you want me to communicate with you in a way that makes you feel respected, right? Yes. I think we're both on the same page. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. Th thank you. Glad you got what you needed to hear. Great job, everybody. Good stuff. Early, uh huh. But yeah. you have Kings County. Okay. You have Queens County. Oh my God. You have Duchess County. You've got the Royal Court, Mary. Uh, so what does this mean? What does this mean? You're gonna win. We're going to DC, baby. We <laughs> take the music down. Um, I would just like to take a moment to give credit to my brave and tireless staff. So I would like to invite them all to come right up here on stage. Come on now, don't be shy. Pamela, get on up here. Come on, Julian, Greg, Renee, Dory, get on up here. Give these kids a round of sound. You are my warriors, and I would not be here without you. Tonight is your night, just as much as it is mine. Let me tell you all what I love about working with young people. They have values that somehow my generation didn't have time to cultivate. Greg, what was that word you taught me? Woke. Woke. 
<laughs> How great is that word? Where was that word when I was young? I'm, I'm sorry. What's going on? Is that a problem? Um, they're here for Dory. Are you Dory Chief? Yes. Come with us, please. You're under arrest for the murder of Keith Powell. Wait, what, 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 what's, going, what's going on? This has to be a mistake. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you don't have an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Or any question that you wish. I barely knew her. <laughs> Get in. I owe you an apology. Do you remember those photos I sent you? The ones of my bare torso and my um, inner thigh? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Listen, you met me at a very difficult time in my life, and that was completely out of character. And I want to make things right. I just need your phone. I don't have it. I've lost my phone. I, I can look for it, see if it turns up somewhere. We're friends, Julian, so I'm asking nicely, but I have to go back to Washington, and my friends there might not be so gracious. They might not even ask. They might just kick your teeth in. <laughs> Who knows? I never said I'm a psychic. Anyway, good luck. Just so we're all on the same page here, my client informs me that you don't have any photos. Is that correct? Yes, yes, that is very correct. Hey, I, I don't have them. I lost my phone. Right. You lost your phone. That's the way it's going to be. We are prepared to offer you 500000 to ensure your phone stays lost. Look, all, all I know is, is that it got turned off somewhere in the Hudson River, and I don't know how or why it got there. So even if I did accept the money you're offering me, someone else could still find my phone and leak what's on there. Fine, 600 and that's as high as we'll go. OK, look, 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 look. This, this is a new phone. Okay, it's got like three photos in it. Why would I get a new phone if I had my old one? Look, here's what we're going to do. You are going to sign this NDA. In the exact same moment, I'm going to slide this briefcase full of unmarked bills totaling $750,000 over to you. You will then leave the city. Sign here. I'm very afraid of what's going to happen to me. It's a shame how this all went down. I was a little bit in love with you. Yeah. I'm sorry if I led you off.